today we're going to Sheffield, the field of chefs. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. None of the other boys, I don't think they're up. I'm not sure what's going on. Just walking the streets. Our old sound engineer, Dave Swallow, opened a record shop. He contacted me about six months ago. He gave me a ding and said, come to my, uh, my new record shop. It's open, it's gonna be amazing. But since then, he's gone very quiet and I texted him this morning and nothing. So we, that's up in the air. In the harvester. They always talk that everyone's gonna be in the harvester. No one's in the harvester, but I'm just gonna wait and then I'm gonna be seated in a harvester and then maybe have some breakfast in a harvester. Right, apparently last night there's some sort of dispute going on between the boys. Graham got smashed. It seems to have upset everybody. They won't sit together. We're in our harvesters. Uh, there's going to be a kangaroo court when we get the bus this morning. What will happen? Uh, some certain members of the band wanted some, some alcohol last night. And all they were calls were screens because they wanted a room on their own. And they refused to answer, refused to give us any booze. You know the, the bus so we is went full of booze. Donald's. You know the bus is full of booze. Some no, people, no, some Billy, Billy brought it out and then Adam walked off with it. Some people should learn that selfishness is the lowest form of selfishness. selfishness. Yeah, you can say that. So basically, me and um, me and Eighty, who uh, you know the more refined members of the band, we, we came back to the hotel. Um, Graham went full on fireworks. He was absolutely battered at his tits. And um, he couldn't, he didn't know where we were, right? So he had to end, basically end up sleeping with the other two boys. Not a problem, you know, because we're all in a band, that's what happens. Anyway, got up this morning, I had loads of missed calls. I even had messages on Instagram from him, you know, saying, where are you? Mike is, Mike is disgusted in you, disgusted, what? I, I'm not surprised at Eggsy. Who is that? It's Adam I was more surprised at because if he couldn't have a drink, he would play absolute hellfire. Yeah. Adam's having both barrels. All three. Um, um, so we're supposed to be having a kangaroo court about this this morning, but anyway, we, we turned up and um, Mike couldn't even look at me, so um, he's not very happy. But eight, eight, we, we normally have to deal with Graham, right? Every time. Every time, right? So it's nice that the other bands share the uh, responsibility, to be honest. Yeah. The uh, hunter becomes the hunted. 8.51 this morning, Mike said, hope you've got your lawyer ready. Kangaroo court this morning. Yeah. So, you know, there's a big legal dispute amongst the band. Yeah. So it's, they, they refuse to sit by us. So they're over there on the other side of, um, you know, the other side of the, the restaurant, and we're yeah. sat here. Yeah. We we basically just laughed at them, and I don't think that went down particularly well either. You know. So we've been in Harvester now for about 40 minutes. Adam's had enough. Um, there's a kangaroo court going on. All I wanted was a cup of coffee and some porridge. I've had a cup of coffee, there's no porridge. Eggs is getting angry, Adam's getting angry. This isn't what I expect from Har Harvester, high quality restaurants such as Harvester, with a full breakfast menu. There's more drinks arriving now, but there's no food. Right, we've been here about 40 minutes now. Um, we've been here for two days. Yeah, and they still haven't brought the food out, but there's a load of food. I've just looked into the kitchen now, because I was going to complain, but there's no one to complain to, so I just looked in the kitchen. Graham just walked past me, didn't even acknowledge me. Do you think he might have done something for the break? I don't know, he's, he's really not happy. Got the ultimate breakfast, I'm never going to finish this, but I just got it because I thought I'd get it. Right, we're having a kangaroo court now, they're all arguing about who did what and who took this and who took that. Um, I don't care, I don't care, because we're going to go to Harrogate to our old friend Dave Swallow, who used to do sound engineering for us. We're going to go to see him because he's got a record shop called AAA or AAA Records, probably AAA. Um, as soon as they finish their kangaroo court, we're jumping in the van, we're going to go check it out. You know what I mean? Why, why, why if, did you screen out if he's, if he's brain, right, he had yeah. a brain instead of fucking mashed potato, he could have he could have gone to reception. We, we, we knew we could have done that. But well, what did you do with it? Why didn't you answer the phone? We were in bed. Yeah. No. Oh, you can't. No. Oh, oh, oh. No, no. can't play. Five minutes after no. getting in the room. We were. Five minutes. Yeah. Well, I didn't see. I didn't see my phone. Lies, and then I went. Then Lies, I went to bed. Lies, but what you could have done is you could have gone to reception, like you say, we and said, "Excuse me, we've just checked." If we were like in between. Here we are, Harrogate now, one of the top five places to live in Britain, apparently. 
we're going to go see uh, Dave Swallow. <laughs> someone's just come upstairs into staff only. Oh, this is it. It's in a record shop. Well, they sell records, but it's, it's a cafe. It's like, it's like a. Is this it? You're just piled upstairs towards the toilet. Where's Dave Swallow? In London. Oh, no. He's not here. Unfortunately. How long have you been in London for? He was on the. He's never here, I'm so sorry. Oh. Waste of time. So Swallow's supposed to be here, right? This is his record show. We come all the way to Harrogate to go to see Dave Swallow. And he's not even here, he's in London. And he's been on the he's been texting. What's the matter with him? There's a lot of chat when we go on tour. I'm, I'm going to move to retire in the Cotswolds and open a sweet shop now. It's going to be traditional. Now, these lads claim I'll be up to something dodgy, which is a load of rubbish, and that's just hearsay, but I've just found the business model that I'm going to base my entire sweet shop on. Because where else would sell Quiggins of Kendall Chocolate Cats here and my sweet shop? This basically is, is what I'm going to be doing 20 years from now. So we're in Harrogate, right? And, uh... What we're doing now, we're going to go and find a pub and watch football. So we went to see Dave Swallow in his record shop. He's not even there. He's gone to London. So I've come to Evil Eye Records to have a look at how evil their eyes are. Would we have ever come here if we hadn't gone to Dave Swallow's shop and he hadn't even been there in the first place? And then we had to come into the town centre of Harrogate? Probably not, but now we're here glad we've had a little look around because we've got literally about two hours three hours to waste before we've got to go to Sheffield to do the next gig apparently 75,000 people live in Harrogate and loads of people visit it as a tourist destination they've got everything McDonald's, Nando's, Wagamama's, they've got Greg's they've got loads of independent style businesses and they've got a pub which I'm going to go to next Kind of run out of things to do now. I've just sort of walk in the streets. I've looked on the internet to see if there's anything worth seeing in Harrogate. There doesn't seem to be a great deal of stuff. Apparently there's a mirror. I might go and look at that. Just gonna walk for a bit now. So if you were going to Harrogate, this is one of the things that they say you can look at. This is the Tour de France monument here. Uh, because the Tour de France is in France, but there's a monument to it here not sure why I couldn't be bothered to read anything about it but you can look at it there it is I got so bored I've come to like the Cotswolds great outdoor shop and I ended up buying a bag I'm gonna try and hook up the other boys now they're having a Cuban romantic Cuban meal somewhere in the middle of town so this is the Montpellier mirror it's a mirror Just had a meal with Graham now. Uh, he's gone to the toilet again. Um, getting the bill. Something about an optional service charge. I don't understand how that works. All right. Well, my advanced ecosystem was ready to go as soon as I finished my paella. Right, I think we've done everything now in uh, Harrogate. It's time to get out. We gotta go to Sheffield. Graham's had his toilet time, Eggsy's had his Cuban meal. Done. Right, we're here now, this is it, the, the Sheffield, the Sheffield venue. All the boys are here, the breakdown crew are here, now they've had a breakdown. I'm knackered. This is nice, isn't it? Nice to be in Sheffield. Apparently we played here before, but I don't remember it. But that doesn't mean anything, because, you know, I can't remember stuff. Yo, it's the GLC London Electric Ballroom. There's final tickets, only a few left. So if you want to get involved in the 420 GLC tour, come on down, get your tickets now. Oh. Not a big pop fan, no. Uh, one or two tunes are all right. Yeah. Quite like him, he's quite witty. But nah, uh, not my thing. I'm healing Graham with sound because he gets battered. So I, I'm the one who has to deal with the this so I have to heal him with sound so I've got this 
device I've made sitting on there. You ready, Graham? It's just heels in. How do you feel? It's just starting. I'm increasing. Last night, didn't Hang on, I'm increasing. Because he's, he's making up for that now. Making up things. Making up stories. It's heels in. Just um, being healed by Eggsy. Healing, healing me with music, he is. Chicken and bacon? Yeah. Chicken and stuffing. They've got all day breakfast, yeah. ham and egg, right? Yeah. Then they've got some rolls, right? They've got tuna mayo salad, yeah. cheese salad, yeah. ham salad, yeah. plain cheese, yeah. cheese and onion, yeah. egg mayo, chicken and bacon, cheese and onion tiger rolls. Cheese and onion. Them. I'll have a cheese and onion tiger roll, please, Bill. Right, how much is the four inches? Okay. So it looks like we're all good to go now. Um, like literally seconds away from opening the club up now. This is uh, Lead Mill. It's all looking pretty good. Super excited. Apparently we've played here loads of times. Can't remember any of them. Uh, 900 people in tonight. It's going to be a good one. It's really good. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> That's the best gig we've ever done now. That's Grim a top three. Says, no, Grim uh, says That's big gig top, three, the top three. Is top three. No, I will say it's top three. I fucking got off the stage. I didn't only get off the stage. Sure, I climbed man. over the metal railing sure, and I got in there. They were beautiful. They were tickling me and touching me all over. You should have had some because you would have loved it. Long time fan, friend friend of the band really, Stu, has been in touch. He's going to give us some rum tonic from Jamaica. So I'm probably going to drink that. I'm going to smash this in now. You got how, how, how you strong got is yours? You got yellow. I, you how, got how strong is yours? 17.2. 16 and a half. Drink it, drink it, drink it. I'm not drinking it now. No way, I'll die. Right. That's why you're having a bottle of Wagwan. Oh, this is Magnum. You got Wagwan. Ooh, like. eh? It's like cough mixture. Come on, let's smell it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, I don't know I like that. I kept the wrong women trying to fucking pot it <laughs> right, we've done the gig. We've come to the hotel. The hotel. Everyone had a good time. Best gig ever. Yes. Yay. Top three. Yes. Top three. Just, just waiting there. Every, every, every gig we've ever done is top three, and t not tonight. What? Was Greg was in top three. Yeah. yeah. Number one. Number one. Oh, number one. Number one. Big number one. one. Strong, strong number one. Yeah. Top three is one three. It's all just So you know. Yeah. You know, this morning we had a kangaroo court thing going on. Yeah. Have we all made up? Yeah. We're friends. Oh, There's yeah. no such thing as a grudge when you're friends. Well, Sheffield, if you haven't been to Sheffield, come to Sheffield. It's lovely. Like, yeah, like and subscribe. Right, that's it. Another weekend away. Having the best time. Britain's, Britain's 15th best hip hop group. We've had breakfast, everyone's washed, everyone's gonna be waiting downstairs, and then we're gonna get in a van and drive back to Wales, four hours probably. Graham's probably on the toilet. I don't know about the others, four of us here. Couldn't, couldn't find the car park. I don't remember anything about this, this car park thing from last night. So that was it, that was a weekend away. Where did we go? We went up country, we went up to Leeds. 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 And we went to uh, Sheffield. Sheffield. Sheffield, that's it. Yeah. Marvellous. Great times. Fantastic gigs. Great crowds. About an hour away now from um, getting back to Newport. Yeah. Where, um, where we live and stuff. Yeah. And um, marvellous. I reckon we should do it again. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Just hit like and subscribe if you want to see more quality content. Ha ha ha.